right now what if uh, you want to execute your test case um, say parallelly on multiple machines right i also talked about that you can use grid or you can use test ng parallel tasks and all so now let's move further with this okay now what if you want to go to google and or suppose you want to go to yahoo and on that page you want to click on a link or you want to click on a button right you want to read the text and print the text on that page fine to do all this you need to actually uh, understand the concept of html language first right because selenium as a tool what it does is it goes into the page source that this is the page source okay and it works on the page source right if you a page source is nothing but html language if you have a good knowledge of html language then working with selenium actually becomes very easy fine if you go to this thing if i go to google and if i write over here html tutorial if you go to this first link fine out here you have got html tutorial so i would request everybody if you are serious enough to learn selenium then just go through say only this much not much only this much not complete knowledge is important okay you can just go through this much and you will come to know about html right html code it looks something like this right you can also on this website you can try it you can click on try it yourself and you can try make you can actually try the code yourself like h1 tag in html you have got tags this is the starting tag this is the ending tag this tells you that this is a html document right in the body tag you write all the code h1 tag represents your headings and all everything for example i make a new tag called as input okay input type equals to text i write and then i close that this tag and if i click on submit code oh, oh sorry right if i close this uh, tag now and i submit the code you will see a text field coming up over here right so this is a very very like important language because what selenium does is that okay, suppose to this input tag i assign an id id equals to say id equals to x y z so i can tell selenium that go to an input tag whose id is x y z and write inside it okay this is how selenium will work that's why it is a tool which only works only on web based applications right so what i'll do is i'll stop here for today i'll not